man r.i.p to matthew perry bro r.i.p to matthew perry this development about matthew perry's death is so heartbreaking so heartbreaking because it reminds you just how cancerous and leachy celebrity life is like it's just one of those hazardous occupations where and now it makes me kind of understand why a lot of celebrities go out of their way and will start bawling and crying when they win awards to thank the people around them and say i couldn't do this without my team i couldn't do this without my team my family my friends because usually i think a lot of them know that it that journey to become a star in hollywood in any way shape or form or entertainment industry is littered with landmines and most of the landmines are people nearest and dearest you they always say that anyway right they always say the people who are usually do you dirtiest aren't like strangers it's usually somebody that you kind of know somebody within your quote-unquote inner or extended circle so it's really sad when you hear of stories of like hollywood people entertainers actors and just cultural figures who like you know get done dirty by the people nearest and closest or the closest to them um, who are kind of all looking out for looking out for themselves and in the process damaging and hurting their friend and in this process a lethal way so this is curse of sky news matthew perry five charged including two doctors over ketamine death of friend star there's matthew perry there obviously you know him from friends um it continues it says one of the doctors accused over the ketamine related death of troubled friend star matthew perry wrote in a text i wonder how much this moron will pay can you imagine man can you imagine the text was written by salvador plus uh, plan plancencia salvador plancencia a medical doctor known as dr p who is one of the defendants charged in relation to the actor's death according to prosecutors others charged include um jasveen sangar known as the ketamine queen kenneth um our Awa Massa, Perry's living personal assistant, and Eric Fleming, an acquaintance of the TV star, and another doctor called Mark Chavez. Um, Ima Iwa Massa and Fleming have already pleaded guilty to a charge relating to Perry's death. Chavez, a San Diego physician, has agreed to plead guilty to a conspiracy to distribute ketamine. Sanger and Planacia will be arranged, arranged, sorry, in Los Angeles court on Thursday, the US Department of Justice says. And obviously, that's the ketamine queen the hollywood ketamine queen it comes after perry was found dead in a swimming pool in his california home in october 2023 a grand jury indictment filed in the u.s state of california alleges that planacea sold ketamine and paraphernalia such as syringes to perry's assistant and taught him how to inject the drug after the actor developed an addiction while seeking mental health treatment imagine seeking treatment for your mental health issues you get put on this very experimental and kind of untested ketamine trial which i think a lot of people have said ketamine sometimes can have some good effects when it comes to clinical depression and shit but then in the process of treating yourself with ketamine you now also develop an addiction for it and then you have people who don't look after your best interest know you're clearly addicted to it overcharge you because you're a celebrity and keep supplying you with a drug because they're getting money for it awful people man sometimes the worst ketamine in recent years has seen a huge surge in use as a treatment for depression anxiety and pain um, drug enforcement administration admi a drug enforcement administration administer and Whit milgram said that matthew perry sought treatment for depression and anxiety and went to a local clinic where he became addicted to the in vitro ketamine when clinic doctors refused to increase his dosage he turned into the unscrupulous doctors who saw perry as a way to make quick money imagine that the actual clinic people told him no you're getting addicted to it then he goes to people in the dark net people you know on the streets and shit and then they obviously gladly take advantage of him while also trying to make loads of money off of him by overcharging him for the stuff prosecutors allege chavez funneled ketamine to planacea securing some of the drug from wholesale distributors through a fraudulent prescription in one instances prosecutors allege that planacea charged perry two thousand dollars for a vial that cost chavez approximately twelve dollars god almighty <coughs> Because I don't know much about ketamine outside of the recreational drug use and the kind of techno rave scene. People just kind of use it in this kind of like crystal form. It's fucking horrendous. It's got, it's obviously got like tris, trippy benefits and whatever. It's, it's kind of a, maybe a fun drug to take when you're in a rave. But I think personally for me, I've only had bad experiences with it. K-holes are probably one of the most scariest um, awfulest experiences you can have taking drugs at all um, but usually from what I'm led to believe ketamine is usually the cheapest drug to buy in terms of a party drug 
from what I'm let to understand. I'm sure of it. I'm sure a gram of ketamine is probably the cheapest thing you can buy if you're on a rave. Obviously, a gram of ketamine is also very dangerous because you take too much and you're fucking done for the night. But that, that constant edging is kind of part of the thrill, I guess, for some people. But obviously pharmaceutically or you know in this kind of new medicine alternative treatment way it's become like a kind of a way for people to kind of get themselves um treated for depression and shit um and i've also heard of people i don't know I, I, i've heard of some people doing it a weird way where they're addicts um they're going to aa and shit but then they're doing ketamine to treat their anxiety it almost feels like uh, it kind of feels like an la sober thing right where you're saying you don't booze but then you also smoke weed and do mushrooms and do lsd it just seems unnecessary really um and it's obviously prime and open for people to take advantage of but usually like i said like as a party drug it's usually the cheapest so can you imagine somebody trying to sell you like i don't know a gram of ketamine now especially in london might cost you i'd imagine anywhere from like 30 to 40 pounds which is probably quite cheap which is probably yeah 30 to 50 pounds was probably the cheapest you can buy a gram of drugs um for a party imagine trying someone trying to sell you that for like 10 grand or five grand or grand can you imagine paying a grand for ket in a club somewhere absolutely crazy but i guess celebrities and shit and people of that sort of note would gladly buy it because they have money continually coming in and they don't want to you know go through the hassle of trying to find somebody they'd rather you find them for them so they kind of are okay of paying that exorbitant exorbitant kind of finder's fee to acquire the shit but obviously it then kind of um primes them or makes them susceptible to get addicted and to get actually taken advantage of by these dealers across the two-week period in early october 2023 placencia placencia how do you say her fucking name received thirty-two thousand from iowa massa including twenty-one thousand five hundred in cash in exchange for ketamine the indictment says two weeks she made 32 grand god damn it these defendants took advantage of mr perry's addiction issues and enriched themselves they knew what they were doing was wrong says the u.s attorney martin Estrada. it's pretty good that they're going after these people to be fair because you know people like people die of ketamine overdosing all the time i'm assuming it probably helps these celebrity people kind of give a shit but it's nice that people are going out of their way to prosecute these people and and held them responsible for something that clearly was avoidable you know it clearly was avoidable so it's good to see it happening i'm not gonna lie and um, prosecutors say perry suffered a health scare in the 12th of october when he froze up and suffered high blood pressure after being injected with a large dose of tranquilizer let's not do that again plantia wrote to ayahuasca in an incident but in the days leading up to perry's death his assistant was administering at least six shots of ketamine to the actor a day god damn it in mid-october ayahuasca allegedly began obtaining ketamine from perry's acquaintance in fleming and the ketamine queen sanger jesus man assistant administered ketamine for friends i must have injected at least three shots of ketamine to the friend star on the 20th of october of 2023 resulting in his death and serious bodily injury shit so that assistant is legitimately culpable the prosecutor said the defendants exchanged messages referencing ketamine as a cause for perry's death soon after it happened at the press conference announcing the charge mr strander said he also tried to cover it up involved by supplying the actor with drugs the only thing i'd say is kind of harsh usually if somebody's an addict to this type of level they will find a way to get the drugs so convicting people who helped supply him with the drugs is kind of out of order a little bit because if he's an addict he would have got a hold of it anyway so i can understand why his quote-unquote friends would have been would have preferred to be the people administering him the drugs and having some sort of idea on how much he's taking and keeping an eye on that sort of stuff as opposed to just letting him go out in the streets and you know end up at some crack house somewhere and then being found unresponsive three days later do you know what i mean I, I can kind of see that kind of vibe but i guess these people went a step further and clearly took advantage and were and didn't really pull you know didn't take the fourth the accelerator didn't try and like pull back a little bit they kept going they kept indulging him there probably was another one instance where they said hey maybe this is enough and maybe this is probably the reason why they're getting charged but either way r.i.p matthew perry he did not deserve to go out that way he did not deserve to go out that way at all in the slightest at all in the slightest